everybody, Andrew Cuneo here. I'm jumping into a Shadows Remastered draft. The set's just out. This is my first draft of the format. I have I haven't really looked at the spoiler to really analyze everything that's in and out of this set. Uh, I did draft this set when it originally came out. I can't say I really remember a tremendous amount about it to be honest this is for people who haven't uh, been playing for a super long time this is the first set i believe that had clues in it so it most of the cards that had clues attached to them were pretty good like a lot of new mechanics they um At, like when, when they first introduced them, they pushed them a little bit, and sometimes they maybe push them a little bit too hard. And I think with clues, the, almost all the cards that generate clues are pretty good and limited. This is a card that uses a merge that is quite strong. So I think the key with the merge was you wanted to wind up with some fodder that you were happy to sack to it. I sort of call this card was ridiculous. Oh, take inventories in this set. I'm starting to remember a little bit more about it. I think there was a pretty good blue-red spells deck you could draft. Immerwolf. This was not originally in the set. This is there's a weird thing that they're doing with this where each week there's going to be like a separate set of additional cards. This card is from Dark Ascension. I'm going to pick ongoing investigation. It's quite good. I don't remember green-blue being something like you wanted to be super excited to draft. Turn an aura or equipment from your graveyard to your hand. I don't remember the set being that much about that. I think, oh, this is another flashback card, I see. So I was about to say, I don't remember there being a good vampire stack, but this is because that card's not from that set. There are vampires, though. There's a whole madness vampire thing. This is the second copy of Take Inventory I've seen. What does this thing do? Investigate, and it makes a land tap for two mana. This is one of those cards that looks like, it might look terrible, but it's actually fine, just because you get the clue. I'm going to pick Noble Gas Herald. Kind of going towards like a blue tempo deck. I do... You don't need green mana for this card, but it, it does get a lot better with green mana. It's the third take inventory. I think this card, they downshifted the rarity. It's not really a particularly good card, though. It's like a bad version of a pacifism. It costs more and it gives your opponent a land. This thing is pretty good, I think, in the vampire deck, which I don't think I want to be a blue-green deck and also try to be a vampire deck. Another pack with take inventory. Somebody's going to have a nutty take inventory deck. I'm going to take this just because I want to get a two-drop. That's a pick probably where once I've got more experience with the set, I might take something different. Maybe I was supposed to just take the take inventory. Take inventory, it's like a kind of a weird gambit. You you might think, well, it, it, it'd be nice to just, you know, take that take inventory and hope the other two wheel, but realistically, I think you need to pick them more aggressively than that if you want to be the person who gets them. It's also, this has just been a, a weird start to a draft that there's been three of them. Brain in a jar, what does this card do? Not much. So it seems like there's like a, a human theme here. This card Wretched Griff is pretty good. 
even if you're just you know sacking a, a random card that you know you fully invested the card card in, it, it refunds your uh, emerge cost. The beginning of your upkeep, scry one o four defender. It doesn't sound that appealing. There's another wretched griff. What's this guy do? This is certainly fine. I think I'm going to take the Wretched Griff, though. See, this is the kind of thing you want to sack to the Wretched Griff. Exultant Cultist. When it dies, you draw a card. Shield Creeper. Man, two mana two ones have really come a long way. I was playing Strixhaven Draft, and I got a two mana two one that I could search a land up to the top of my deck. Grapple with the past. This card is actually pretty good in this format if you're trying to do the delirium thing. I think I'm going to take the Exultant Cultist, though. So this wants me to have other spirits, which... I have an Eldrazi Hippogriffs and an Eldrazi Octopus, so those are not spirits. I think I remember this card actually being kind of good. It's also, Delirium is an important aspect of this, or it was an important aspect of Shadows over Innistrad originally, and the fact that this gives you an artifact and a creature in your graveyard matters a fair amount. Creature is pretty easy to get, but artifact is not necessarily easy to get, because even though these things look like artifacts, they aren't. They're just colorless creatures. So I might just be like a blue-green deck that doesn't have a lot of interaction, and I'm just going to try to beat my opponent on card quality. This is just a 4-5 with a story to tell. What This card's been in almost every pack. It's reasonable if I'm a human's deck, but I don't think that's what I am. I don't think the Thornhide Wolves is going to make my deck, but I'll take it. This is another kind of card that you might put in your deck to enable Delirium. Hmm. This does work with my... Uh, a lot of the cards in my deck. Maybe I should just take that. What's this? It's a fight spell, but only for werewolves. That doesn't sound that appealing to me. Five mana for a three four life link. I'm not gonna play with any of these cards. This card isn't the worst. Plus three plus one and life link is an instant. It's probably a little bit worse than plus two, plus two in lifelink, but it's certainly not horrible. Ooh, Alms of the Vein. I wonder if there's a Madness Burn deck you can build in Historic now. Equip, discard a card. Yikes. I guess if you want to, if you're trying to enable Madness, that's what that card's for. All right, Cryptolith Rite. Creatures you control have tapped to add one man of any color. It's not great, to be honest. Some vampires. This is not the pack I was hoping for. What does this do? Return a creature card at random from your graveyard to hand. Weird. So this is the card that's not part of the regular set. I guess I'm going to take Cryptolith, right? I'm not sure I'm even going to play it, but this pack really doesn't offer anything. Put 
Or over the, over the pages? Oh no, this is coming to Arena? The, the Lotus Field's about to be a real deck? Yuck. Is, are there other pieces of Lotus Field that are, are missing? I don't really know. I've, I've known that it, it... This was a big part of what was missing. What's this thing do? Locks a creature down, and it's a 1-3 spirit. This is the kind of card I would want in my deck. I think I might pick Pour Over the Pages just because it's very good. And then hopefully the Fog Walker wheels. Maybe grapple with the past. I like to play this card when it was in Standard. That's actually kind of good card. Oh, this card was... Saw some constructed play. What does Essence Flux do? Do I want 3-2 when it dies, investigate, or 2-2 when it dies, draw a card? I think I have enough emerge stuff that I might just want this instead. The Bloodbriar does grow when you sacrifice the clues from investigate, but I think this is just more mana efficient. And again, there's a Fog Walker, which I would kind of like. I don't think I'm quite to the point where I need to make a curve pick like that. What does this card do? Oh, this card's actually pretty good, isn't it? It's a six mana five five that converts into five two twos. They downshifted the rarity on that land. That land used to be rare. What's this do? All right, this is a little bit of interaction. I'm really thinking I'm probably not going to play with Cryptolith, right? What's this? So this uses the old werewolf mechanic that... I'm trying to remember how it even works. It's like if you don't play a spell, it flips, or if you play two spells, it flips. But it is a... Oh, no, this one doesn't use that mechanic. It's just you spend mana to flip it. Never mind. This is a pretty good card. It's just a 1-2 that taps for mana. Second ongoing investigation. Sign me up. I really don't think I'm going to be able to play Cryptolith, right? This card wants you to have a lot of cheap creatures. And some expensive cards. I do have some expensive cards, but the expensive cards already have a built-in cost reduction mechanic for each. Token you control, create a token that's a copy of that permanent. No thank you. What's this card? Just a 2-3? Well, there's also Terrarion. Which this is kind of a Delirium enabler. I'm going to take it in case I start getting some Delirium cards I really want to play with. What's this thing do? See, this card's actually pretty good. But Narwhal Dryad is quite strong. And it is a Delirium card. This is a way to get a land into the graveyard if you want to do that for Delirium. I think I'm just going to take Woodland Stream, though. Have better mana. And I might play Terrarion. I might play like 16 lands in a Terrarion. Now that I've got the Dryad that cares about Delirium and the Blood Briar cares about Sacrificing and Spontaneous Mutation cares about me having cards in the graveyard, so just having like a Terrarion that's going to very quickly wind up in my graveyard is going to make this card better. All right, so this is the... This has the Werewolf mechanic that's from original Innistrad. Do I want to deny existence? Don't want Moon Mist, I know that. Do I want Wolfkin Bond? This card might look terrible. It's actually not that bad. Oh, the Dauntless Cathar was pretty good. I'm not going to take it because it was a white card. 
I think I'm just going to take Deny Existence. I don't know if I'm going to play with it or not. Do I want a second Woodland Stream? Or maybe I want Weirding Wood. I'll take Weirding Wood, I guess. I don't know if I should play it. Magnifying Glass is really slow. I don't know if the format's slow enough that that's something you really want to be doing. What's this thing do? It's a 2-3 that you might gain 3 life. You can definitely, if you're only used to playing more recent sets, the power level of a lot of these cards is a lot lower than you what, what you're probably used to in Limited. But I actually kind of like it, playing Limited with lower power level cards. There's less pressure to uh, you know, just have a good hand right from the beginning. This card's really good, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's not that insane. I remember it being like really good, but I mean, this is this is certainly if I was playing red, I would happily pick it. But it kind of requires you to put a bunch of unusual stuff in your deck you might not otherwise play. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, transform this. That's okay. I'm not going to take 3-2 Flash. I think I just want the cheap card. Uh, Jace's Scrutiny. Not bad. It's kind of like Arcane Subtraction. There's another Logger. I don't think I want another Logger. Oh, the Lupine Prototype. Yeah, not for me. I'm just going to take Confront the Unknown. I'm not sure if this deck is good or not. It's like trying to be a bit of a tempo beatdown deck, but I don't have that many strong early plays. I don't feel like I have enough werewolves to make that work. I think I just want to take Tattered Hunter. So I do think I actually just want to be a beatdown deck. This is a good Nahiri. I bet this is going to show up in historic reanimator decks. Maybe it's not. Maybe not. Maybe like Fa I mean, Fable of the Mirror Breaker and uh, what's the other thing called Crucius are definitely better. So just a three-three that's got some useful abilities. Or this guy. What's the collar do? Oh, whoa, a 4 9 flying haste. I forgot that card existed. That's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to take the two drop. I continue to think I want my deck to just be pretty aggressive. Oh, it's Spell Queller. Should I just rare draft? Spell Queller is one of the few cards from this set that I think is actually. Gonna be a legit constructed card in Explorer. It's that or just take Dronyard Explorers, which I'm not sure would actually make my deck. I'm gonna rare draft. Rare draft. I think I want Jace's scrutiny. Another Skinner. I'm very Long on the Skinners. I don't know that I'm good enough at getting Delirium. Wish I'd gotten a grapple with the past. Got 15 creatures. I think I want to play one more spell. And I would like it to be something that helps me some with Delirium. This thing mills four cards. That helps with Delirium, but four mana three three is kind of mopey. 
Certainly not going to take 4 mana 2 3 flash reach, so maybe this thing makes my deck. Fleeting memories. When it enters the battlefield, investigate. Whenever you sack a clue, target player mills three cards. I could actually just try to mill people out with this. Or mill myself to get Delirium. I have no memories of playing with this card, but I think it might be good in my deck. Uh, I'm not going to play any of these, so... I guess I'll just take Lupine Prototype. Deadweight was quite good in this limited format. Because it's an enchantment that goes to your graveyard. Which is good for Delirium, and it's just a pretty efficient removal spell. Because as you can see in this set, the creatures are not gigantic. You're probably going to kill anything somebody's going to put in their deck that costs 2 mana, and you're going to probably kill a lot of things that cost 3 mana. Somebody might actually play. Definitely going to play the Tattered Hunter, because we've got two ongoing investigations. We're just going to cut one land and go with it. Which land should it be? Maybe an island? I guess I have some double blue cards and I don't have any double green cards. A lot of my, like my, er, my cheapest plays require more green than blue. Like, it's not that important that I cast Ongoing Investigation on turn two, but certainly the Hinterland Logger is a lot better if it can come into play on turn two. I think I'm just going to cut an island. It's really just, it's poor over the pages in Elder Deep Fiend, but those are going to be cards I'm going to play pretty late into the game, hopefully. So uh, they probably have this in their deck for delirium reasons, would be my guess. You were supposed to show up on turn one. It's not going to be that bad that I play it on turn four, because I'm probably just going to play Bloodbriar or maybe Nebelgast Herald. Grove Dark Tidings. Really have many spirits is the only downside of this Nebel Gast Herald in my deck. It's quite a good card. What's this thing do? Dies, returns to the battlefield, transformed under your control, attach it to an opponent. I see.
Probably going to have to eventually trade with that, but there's no reason to just do it this turn. Like if they attack with it here, I think I will trade with it. Oh no, I think it's going to grow and get pretty big. They enchanted me with this, right? No, I think they put it in the wrong person. I think they put it on themselves, so it doesn't do anything, which is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to... No, it's attached to me. Why am I... Oh, it hasn't triggered yet. I see. Okay. They did the right thing. It's going to trigger in my upkeep. But it didn't wind up in the graveyard, so... Oh no, that card is outrageously good. Guess not. I think I'm going to block and emerge this thing. Can I emerge it? Do I have enough mana? Oh, I think I, I, I actually had enough mana when I only had four lands. I'm going to try to ambush the Liliana's Elite, I think. mana to start doing that. I really needed to make my land drops more regularly. I think I can still win, but I think it's pretty painful that I bricked on so many land drops. Ow. 
did not enjoy that. Down to six. I'm going to get the fleeting memories in play and I'm going to start milling them with my clues. Hoping to hit more creatures. I don't have any creatures in their yard, right? This is kind of a suspicious attack. So I'm going to go to four. I just play the Jace's Scrutiny. Go to three, but yeah, all right, let's, I'm worried that they're, they're doing this because they're trying to make it so they can attack on the ground next turn safely. No, I'm just dead. They tricked me good. There's not a whole lot of reason to keep this card around. It's really just the Bloodbriar. It's the only reason that it would be better in play. Yes, we're actually playing that guy this time. Please leave my guy alone. He's just a, a lowly captive. He's not even an abomination yet. I'll trade my cultist for the courier. Hopefully. Sacrifice another permanent. So you can move this around by sacking other permanents? I have no memory of this card. That's weird. I mean, it's a weird card. It's not that weird that I have no memory of it. A bit of a beat down here.
This transforms at instant speed. Still need two more land drops to get into play, though. Or two more land drops to be able to do it, rather. Being overrun by Cathars. This would be a good game to draw an ongoing investigation. I'm gonna save the, the Narwood Dryad. Or actually failed to save the Narwood Dryad because I thought that there were more cards in my graveyard than there were. That was horrific. Is this activate only as a sorcery? Okay. So I'm going to sack this so they can't move the Bound by Moon Silver onto the Elder Deep Fiend. Tap up the Fort Permanence. You can tap lands with this thing. Which I'm quite fond of. Please don't hurt my Elder Deep Fiend. Courageous Outrider. Enters the battlefield. Look at the top four cards. Reveal human. Okay, so they're just getting... They're getting a little bit of humanoid value. Reasonable. Three, four, lifelink. I think they were surprised by how that card works. I'll take it though. So this is plus two, plus two right now. This is definitely a set where you kind of want to make all your land drops if you're playing with a lot of clue stuff, especially in my deck because of all those ongoing investigations. I have no idea why they jumped with a 3-4. That one is a mystery to me. I think I should be milling them. Because I think that they're probably not too heavily into Delirium. Oh, I milled them into something that does something. Not great. 
I think my deck is capable of making enough clues, though, that milling someone out is a reasonable way to win. Untap two lands. Discard a card. Island. See you later. Which is this tap for? Taps for two colorless ones transformed. Maybe I was supposed to put the counter on the sleuth before I attacked. It might have been better. All right, let's try not to mess up spontaneous mutation this time. I'm not going to just assume that I have two creatures in my graveyard. Did I win the die roll? Am I going to get to go Narwhal Dryad into ongoing investigation? That's a nice curve. Come on, no dead weight, no dead weight, no dead weight. They didn't have dead weight, or if they had it, they didn't play it. Threaten to have that guy start growing on him. This is a really strong start for this format. 2-2 two, two Death Touch. Don't love it. I think I'm gonna... Hope to draw into a land. I really want to make all my land drops because I'm, I'm just never going to run out of stuff to spend my mana on. I tapped, I left the forest on tap because I was hoping to draw an untapped land and play the obsessive Skinner that turn. I failed. Why do my, all my opponents have Dark Salvation? Is it downshifted in rarity? No, it's not. I'm just going to keep trading. Makes my ongoing investigations better if I have creatures in the yard. Makes my spontaneous mutation better. Also, I just want to make the game go long, given that I've got... So many ongoing investigations. Maybe I want to pump the brakes on attacking. Mm, I'll go for two more clues, I think.
All right, now I'm definitely not going to attack. Not really sure what that attack was about. Did I get tricked again? Ghoul Razor. I guess I got tricked again. Not too worried about it. Just need to find my fleeting memories. I'm going to win really easily. quite yet. It's only my graveyard. I didn't realize that. I thought I could go after my opponent's graveyard. Learn something new. Look at this, I am well supplied with clues. If I can't solve the investigation at this point, you really have to question my abilities as a detective. That said, I'm gonna continue investigating. Oops, we're playing this for full freight. <laughs> Down to 14 clues. But I can use Jace's scrutiny on their Gavini unhollowed to generate another clue in an emergency. I have the good start again, kind of. The second ongoing investigation is a little gratuitous, and I'm on the draw, so it's not even clear that they. I'm going to get to commence with the investigating.
I didn't put the counter on the dryad because I, I think there's no way that the daring sleuth is going to wind up trading with the one one skinner. So I might as well just have it be on the daring sleuth. I didn't trade there because it seems like I'm going to get a free clue by doing this. Hopefully draw a land next turn. I'd like to go Terrarion. Find an untapped land. I didn't find an untapped land. Oh, I'll just force them to trade here, though. If I found an untapped land, I could go put the Daring Sleuth in play, transform it right away. Just think is what I'm going to do if this card is a land. It was not a land. That card was a land. So let's pour over the pages, probably discard a land. Uh, I guess I'll still just discard this land. And transform the sleuth. Get some sleuthing going on. Is that better than playing a second ongoing investigation? I don't know. My opponent doesn't have a third land. No, I maybe don't need to overthink it. I investigates when he hits now too. Wow. Three clues from one attack. I think I'm just going to start trying to mill them. them for 24 cards right now. It seems unlikely they're going to win from that spot. This is a lot of deck damage for one person to be dealing in one turn. Two three prowess, not what they're not what they need. this thing do? I remember it being pretty good. Whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. Oh, I need to do, be doing that to really get my investigating on. This is a cool card, Macabre Waltz. It's really good if you have madness cards.
I probably could have just... No, I could, I could have just killed them with damage. With the Elder Deep Fiend. I'm gonna win through investigating, though. Another one of those zombie lords. It's pretty impressive. Okay. I accept. You have a Storm Rider spirit in play before you die. Sand isn't nearly as good as my previous two starting hands. Did I already play this guy? I played somebody else who had three initials and a P was in their name. It might be the same guy. This is a merge six. So I can just curve cultist into the griff if I don't draw land. Oh, this card's good. attack with the logger, they'll just block with the skinner. I guess I'm the worst case they actually might not block. And then they, this is gonna be a two two when it attacks. Come on, lands. Okay, that was actually pretty good to draw those two. Kinda of wishing I traded the logger now. Make the spontaneous mutation more powerful. remember exactly all the, the tricks they might have. I'm going to block like this. Because I think for one mana, there's no way they're killing the griff. And... I guess that that was okay, I suppose. Uh, just gonna pass and let the, the logger flip. And then I'll probably Nebelgast Herald whatever they put the Butcher's Cleaver on.
think I'm going to commit to flashing an Elder Deep Fiend. If I'm lucky, the Deep Fiend gets to ambush something. Yeah. They are going to gain a lot of life this game. I don't really think there's a way around that with my deck, though. I can win through fleeting memories, even if they wind up gaining a tremendous amount of life. So if they put the cleaver on the provisioner, I'm going to try to trade the timber shredder for it. If they put the cleaver on the skinner, I'm just going to block with the scarecrow and go and get lands. Because I want to get lands anyway, so I can play the wretched griff next turn without having to sack a creature. Mostly green. Just because I already have mostly blue. Hmm. Okay. I need to find ongoing investigation, and then this will get pretty easy, I think. Until then, though, it's going to be a little dodgy. Against their deck, I'm pretty sure I want to be milling them. And I'm just going to chill out. I'm not going to attack. My plan is to win either by milling them with fleeting memories or just generating enough card advantage through clues that I trade my way through all their creatures. I'm going to double block here just in case they have some sort of pump spell or removal spell. Fine. What does this thing do? It's going to come back as a, a menacing thing. I don't like that. Look at all these triggers. Mail them. Come on, ongoing investigation. Or forest. Forest was is nice. Oh wait, maybe forest wasn't nice. It's hard to say. I guess I'm gonna threaten them with damage to an extent. I still think most my, my main route to victory is through clues. Ooh. They're just jumping now they're 
growing their guy. Yeah, that worked out bad. I really need to find ongoing investigation pretty quickly. This is about to get out of hand. I'm not even going to bother attacking. I should have played my land. The one reason to hold my land in my hand is in case I draw a pour over the pages, I suppose. I only have six lands left of my deck. So if I do top deck pour over the pages, I'm not that likely to draw into an additional land to discard. Left in my deck, two pour over the pages, another wretched, or two ongoing investigations, a wretched griff. What does this say? Gains double strike. That's going to be a little problematic. I'm still at 13 life, so it's, it, they're not that likely to just kill me in one turn. I really need the, the Fiend Binder to die this turn. Okay. That really wasn't that bad for me. Feels like they went easy on me, to be honest.
I think it's more important to find a spell I can cast than to save clues to make confront the unknown as good as possible. Eleven cards left, and I can mill six. Again, I'm just going to block with an extra creature here, just because I want to make sure that this thing dies. I don't care about, you know, saving my creatures necessarily. I want to make sure that. That thing dies. I had no idea that this could give targeted double strike. Okay. So I'm losing both of these now. Unless I draw Jace's Scrutiny. Oh no, I melted Griffspoon. That's not ideal. I do have them down to 39, though. don't block here they die on ongoing investigation one time. I'd like to draw some blue mana. Or really any land. They have an early haunted Fengraf. Turn one, the fast Fengraf. People don't spend as much time talking about a fast Fengraf as you might think they would.
my investigating guy has been defeated. This is probably the most basic uh, delirium enabler in the set, or the most common delirium delirium enabler in the set. So what do I want to do? I think what I'm going to do is if they attack, I'm going to double block the Conduit of Storms. Oh, they can just do it right away. Oh well, still blocking. We got some problems going on. That wasn't that bad for me. I'm going to take a bunch of trample, but my creatures aren't going to die. I guess one issue is their creatures are just going to be gargantuan. I need to draw Elder Deep Fiend probably to win this game. What does this do? Trample Intimidate. Interesting. Share a card with it. Six, seven trample? That's too big. Let's be a more reasonable opponent. Delirium. No, the terrarium does not get me to delta delirium. Headed Haunter not looking so hot this game. I'm going to let my logger flip. This is a really good card. Deep Fiend. Well, this is a 
This is a useful card, at least. It's going to be enough to save me. Maybe, actually. Non-human werewolves you control can't transform. I see. That's why they're kind of getting screwed by their own card. That's why I still have a chance. Haunted Fengraft is kicking into action. They're getting back a conduit of the storms. I kind of don't want the Immerwolf to die, at least not right now, because it's holding the Uvenwald captive back. some spells. There's a spell. Thirteen. Tagging with the blood bar doesn't really do anything though because I have two ready-made chump blockers. I'm just going to play this for seven. I think I've actually turned the corner. Yeah, I'm not... Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to just let this thing hit me for damage. I guess they were also trying to trigger this thing's ability. I believe that has something to do with... Like if they've dealt damage to me. So next turn I can kill him in the air. Potentially. I think my goal is mostly just to not die. Oh, I was confused how this card works. This only triggers in their upkeep. I thought it was the one that triggers, like, whoa, something that triggers at the end of turn. It's not. So how big is this thing? It's a 5-7 if it flips. 
It's not big enough. I am in a little bit of danger of if I eat too many creatures from my yard, the Gyre Reach Bandit will turn back into a real card. Sin Prodder. That was a close game. I did not expect to win. But I also didn't appreciate that the uh, the Gyre Reach, or the Immer Wolf was going to screw their other werewolf guy. Those cards didn't weren't printed in the same set originally. I've never seen that interaction before. Quite a strong hand. The only question is, do I want to play... Norwood Dryad on turn one or Woodland Stream? I think I want to play Woodland Stream. The only real appeal to having the Narwood Dryad in play on the, in play on the first turn is I could draw one of my two copies of Ongoing Investigation, but I wouldn't even be able to cast them if I had didn't have the Woodland Stream in play because I didn't draw an island. I have a card that can kill the Tattered Hunter. Two one minutes. messed up, I think. Yeah, maybe not. I was going to say I messed up because I didn't put the counter on the Tattered Hunter, but I think it's better to actually put the counter on the Skinner. Because I do, I do probably just want to double block this thing if they attack with it this turn. I don't think there's any spell they could have that makes things go really badly for me. Like, if they have a removal spell, it doesn't matter, because both of my guys just trade in combat. Holy cow, Lightning Axe. A 2-2. Two, two. That was a little weird. Next turn I'll hold the Dryad back to block and try to use Jace's Scrutiny. I'll just take the damage here. I wonder if this was a high pick originally. I, my memory of this card is really, really foggy. I remember not thinking it was as good as Ongoing Investigation, but Ongoing Investigation was like a first pick quality card. I'm just gonna mill down. Sometimes it backfires in this set, but as we've seen, three cards is a lot from a deck that can potentially uh, Generate a lot of clues. Really doesn't take that much to mill them out. I'll play the Herald at the end of their turn to tap the Deranged Whelp if they don't attack this turn, but I, I do do just want them to attack me. So that I can play my Jace's Scrutiny for full value. We get into Delirium here? I don't think so. Pretty big step towards it, though. Next turn, if I sack the Scarecrow, I'll have Delirium. They're still mana screwed. This wasn't really a very good game. This card's better than it looks. It counts as a vampire, which matters for vampire synergies, and does a little bit of damage. And that, I mean, you really want to be triggering madness with it. When I said it, it's a little better than it looks. That's assuming you're triggering madness. I don't even remember. This has something to do with madness, too. So this is just a Madness Enabler that they're going to deal a little bit of extra damage with, I guess. Yeah. That's a pretty strong start.
really isn't going particularly well for me. Really need the Ulvenwald captive to stay alive. Not that confident that that's what's going to happen. Crypt of the Fragment. Each player loses one life. Player has ten or less life. Transform it. Okay. Flying death touch, yuck. I think I need to pressure their life total though now that they have that thing though. Each player has 10 or less life, I see. It's a little bit confused by how that worked. So this is going to put me to 9 and them to 14. I think I still don't want to attack with the Elder Deep Fiend.
That is a good one. A good one. So can I, can I keep the fragment from transforming with that? Yeah, I guess I can. Or at least, well, I'm going to eventually run out of creatures, but I can delay it for a while. This is the cost? No. This is a very weird card. That it's a mana source that I think uses the stack, if I'm reading it correctly. But it's also, I guess it's a, it's a conditional trigger at the start of upkeep anyway. Close. All right, they've made their guy a 5-3. They've expressed an interest in attacking me. I'm just gonna let the herald die. And Jace's scrutiny the accursed witch just to save four life. I, I think this is another game where I don't need to win through damage. I'm just gonna win with fleeting memories. So I'm gonna let first strike happen. Ooh, okay. That's a pretty cool combo. And I'm gonna wait until I have fleeting memories in play to start cracking my clues. Twenty four cards left. Fiery Temper. They look like they have a pretty good deck. I think I can manage if this thing transforms. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. At this point, they're going to die so quickly. It's fleeting memories. I have 
This is gaining me two life. I have two more life I can gain, and I could sack the Scarecrow to get more triggers if need be. Which I'm probably going to need to do something like that. That's a pretty good card to have access to. Gonna gain a little bit of life so they can't flip the fragment. I guess I should keep going. Maybe I can find another cheap card to play. That's gonna have to wait for next turn. Pretty weird vampire. They'd had enough. I don't think they could win from that spot. I'm not sure if I could actually kill them before they got to untap, but they weren't coming back. All right, that was a cool draft. That was Clues. Clues are good in this format. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.